This video is going to show you how to run a parallel analysis in R. Parallel analysis can be seen as a first step in a exploratory factor analysis or in a principal components analysis. Essentially, it's just an objective method of working out how many factors or components you have in your data set. It does this by comparing the eigenvalues from your data set to some generated parallel eigenvalues that it produces from an identity matrix. An identity matrix is just simply a correlation matrix where nothing correlates with each other. So if you think about it in terms of correlation matrix, it's got a diagonal of one, everything correlating with itself, and then every other number in it is zero. And essentially, you know you've got valid factors if the factors that your data set has, if the eigenvalues for those factors are greater than the eigenvalues that have been generated from your identity matrix. Sounds a bit complicated, but it's actually quite straightforward when you can see it in graphical form. To do this analysis, we're going to use the Parent package. There are other packages that do parallel analysis, but I use the Parent one. It's nice and straightforward. And read Excel to read in our data set. You've already installed these. You don't need to do it again. You just need to pull them out of your library. The data set we're going to be using is this here. This is location on my computer. And it's the attitude towards goat's cheese exploratory factor analysis data set. This is the same data set. This is in the exploratory factor analysis video that I've used before. Our data frame is just going to be called ATGC. I'm just going to run that. So this is just our attitude scale about the, the culinary abomination that is goat's cheese. To do a parallel analysis is really quite a straightforward thing. Once we've installed our parent package, we just type parent as our command and on the data frame. So we're going to do a parallel analysis and we've written here CFA equals true. If you write false, it'll do your principal components analysis. Principal components analysis will always produce one more component than it would if you do a factor analysis. So we just click run on that. And this is the output, and really, this is the bit that matters. Here, yeah, three factors retained. This tells you that you have three factors in your data set. If you've ever done one of these in SPSS, you'll know it's a much more painful process using the SPSS syntax than it is simply typing that. You can also get a graph as well. The graph actually explains the theory behind it quite well, so I'm just going to run that so you can see what the graph looks like. It's a parallel analysis graph. If you're interested in the adjusted ones, you're always going to look at the adjusted ones. It's very unlikely you're going to look at unadjusted. So we can ignore this red line. And see here this random. So this is the random set of eigenvalues that have been generated from our identity matrix. And then this is the eigenvalues generated from our data set. And any eigenvalue that is above our blue line means it's a valid factor, which is greater than our randomly generated eigenvalues. So in this case, we've got one, two, three. And then our fourth factor drops below this. So it's not a valid factor. So from this graph, you can quite clearly see we've got three factors in our data set because the fourth one drops below the randomly generated eigenvalues. And you'll also note that when it goes up in twos, we've got nine data points. That's because the data set has nine variables in it, so it always will compute you nine factors. And your job is to work out what valid factors are, and this does a really neat method of working out how many factors you've got. So once you've done this, you could simply run a factor analysis. So run a factor analysis and you know to set your number of factors to three. To write this up, you can just simply state that a parallel analysis or Horn's parallel analysis suggested that there were three factors in the data set. It hasn't got a complicated write-up either. 